minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And here's the lift SpaceX off. rocket lifting off. And already a change of camera position. I don't know if it's just me, but that looks very fake. Very slow ascent. We've already had five camera position changes. And I'd like to point out that we're at a kilometer high right now. And just watch how long this camera that's recording this stays horizontal, perpendicular to that SpaceX sign. There's no rotation whatsoever on the rocket. We're at six kilometers, a little over three miles. Already going horizontal. Course camera position change. All the actors. So we're 14 kilometers high, about 9, 10 miles. And this camera, whoever's recording this, is amazing that they could stay that perfect going 600 meters per second. This camera has no problem staying perfectly aligned, almost like it's traveling with it. And so we're 26 kilometers high, and we are Process horizontal. Offices satellite to orbit right now. We just transitioned through max Q, and we've begun chilling in. We are horizontal on our and stage. still ascending at a rapid so pace. 40 kilometers high. In about 20 seconds, we'll have main engine. Now remember, this camera was perpendicular. This camera didn't change at all. That's where all nine that is horizontal. Of that first stage will now it's down pointing downwards. But get ready for another camera change because we gotta get that rocket stage pointing up again. By four 56 kilometers high, stage. pointing downwards. But that's okay. Nothing the camera move can't can't fix, right? Yeah, now we're back we main at a 45 degree angle from that camera. And stage separation has been confirmed. And now it's 16 and meters per second. We have Use a breakaway at a first thrusters. stage and a complete 180. And a complete 180 at 1500 meters per second. And the boost back 96 kilometers high and stage. climbing still. This is incredible. I mean, they, they absolutely defy the, law of, the laws of physics here. I don't know how they do it, this SpaceX. They gotta teach NASA Boost some of this. Burn will last about another 15 seconds. So we're still Use climbing. This to reorient the stage back to Cape Canaveral. Fly it back from all the forward velocity we had over the Atlantic Ocean. Now, mind you, we're still climbing, but we did a complete 180 going back towards Kennedy. We also had a successful bearing separation of the second stage. Which at a thousand meters per second for about two minutes, I'd say we're pretty As far we from Kennedy. So however they can remote control the this thing mission, back to that long to launch pad is, classified payload on board. I don't know, that's but that's beyond my comprehension. From this camera? I mean, is, how are they doing right now? Still climbing. The right side is an onboard camera looking down from our interstage. Now, we're apparently on that our way back to Kennedy feet in diameter, from many, many miles away. Over 100 feet tall, so you're looking down the length and of about that stage, and those 80 miles high. And we're here. still climbing. On the left side of the screen, you're seeing we got 159 our kilometers. On that rocket. Speed is decreasing. Way back. Now, granted, they're in, they're, they're in space right now, they want you to think. They're in space. Now how <clears throat> propulsion, jet propulsion with those nit nitrogen boosters work with no air or matter to push against is be you know beyond the laws of physics as well. Now that boost back burn was a three-engine burn. Coming up, we're gonna have our entry burn also a three-engine burn. 
and of course the picture you're seeing of the earth and all those clouds that's fake because not one of them moves not even an inch No movement of the clouds whatsoever. Just started ascending. First stage has passed its apogee. It's over 130 kilometers <coughs> above the surface of the Earth. Just started descending puffs are seeing at 300 meters per second. On Once we got down to 300 meters per second, we went from 166 kilometers to 165 and descending at 300 meters per second, so I don't understand how that happens. Now you can see we're descending. We haven't entered, you know, quote unquote, Earth's atmosphere yet, but Your somehow we're rapidly increasing since speed. The engines ignite at the base of the rocket. Up to 800 to meters per second. The vertical velocity as the rocket is no clouds are moving. Accelerating. I mean, to, you know, when you know how to look at this stuff, you could just tell that this is CGI, but, you know, they're making a lot of money. The military doesn't offer out informations on, uh, information on their missions, or they won't even tell you the top speed of uh, F-18. Classified is classified. SpaceX is launching a military classified spy satellite. We're just tuning in. We're but they can't the tell you where it's going, as if that's hard to Earth. figure out if there wasn't really a space. Back to zone one. And, up. you know, they advertise there's a big, big, big money maker because seconds. many, many people believe in all this. So now we're rapidly descending at 1,400 meters per second. And we've entered the entry burn startup. Here's the entry burn. Mission of the entry burn. So realistic. This is a 25 second burn. I just don't understand how people could believe that a rocket, the shape of a pencil, and we have shut down the first can stage. descend on a target the size of a helicopter launch pad, basically. In about 45 seconds, we'll have our landing burn begin. If you've ever gone skydiving, you know, seconds. try to hit a target. We'll touchdown of the vehicle. The amount of maneuvers it takes. Just to align yourself, let alone one shot straight down, it's it's mind-boggling that people believe this. On your left, stage one just passed through transonic regime. See how fake it looks. Landing burn startup. And landing burn has that hit camera startup. again. Perfectly aligned. Yeah, that, that that looks real. That looks like a movie. Are you kidding me? And of course, the camera watching it come down is looks like two miles away. The launch, the camera was right there, but coming back, we gotta put the camera two miles away. And then, now we're closer, but it's already landed. Another good day and here all the fake clapping. Woohoo. And now, your spokesperson is gonna advertise to you, because, you know, the government always advertises. You hear the CIA and FBI always saying, like us on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, and thanks for watching. It's what a with crock that of land shit. landing, that's going to conclude our coverage for today's webcast. It is a beautiful sight, certainly, to bring back another first stage. We will be uh, putting that uh, rocket through some inspections and then getting it ready for another launch for a future mission uh, coming up in our, in our very busy uh, manifest for the remainder of the year. 
So with that, we'd like to thank the National Reconnaissance Office, uh, the range, the, uh, the FAA, as well as you, the viewer, for tuning in and watching us. Uh, if you'd like to keep track of our future missions as well as the progress of this mission, uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or check out SpaceX.com. And if you'd like to come up here and join the team and be part of the crew that makes all this happen, check out SpaceX.com careers. Thanks again for joining, and we'll see you again soon.